Hey, good morning, everyone. It's Lila Sasha over here. It's Sunday, April 28th. Hope everyone's having a great weekend. It's miserable weather here today. A little snowy, dreary overcast. Still April, right? What do you do? Definitely not out of the ordinary for Western Canada. So I'm here to do a quick shave today, as quick as I can for you guys, featuring some uh, Western Canadian products. <clears throat> We're going to be featuring Like Grandpa today. This is an Edmonton, Alberta artisan. Ken is the owner over there. Ken, I apologize if you watch this. I can't remember your wife's name right now. Met up with Ken yesterday at a, at a craft show here in uh, Regina. And I decided to buy some products from him. I have tried a couple samples before, some limited red products. So I'm really interested to see how this goes. We're going to use his orange shave soap today. This is his seasonal. I've already put on a pre-shave of his, which is how this whole conversation got started because I don't normally use a lot of pre-shaves. So this is like Grandpa Lime. And my post from him will be his Lavender Balm. And probably I'm going to match it also with some male grooming wildflowers. Play off the lavender. No one of these scents are kind of go together. I mean, we got lime, we got orange, we got lavender. But all sort of citrusy and then floral. <clears throat> Hopefully it will come together, but I wanted to feature lots of his products. I bought different scents to try. Razor-wise, I haven't used the DE in this video for a while. I'm going to pull up my Carve C-plate, three-inch handle, with a fresh Beck Chrome Platinum. Only second time using these blades. I was actually kind of shocked how good, much I enjoyed them. Have the sample of the soap whipped up in here. I'm oh, sorry, pressed in here. In my thirsty bag of uh, shave bowl. And I'm going to be using today my Paragon Shaving Two Band Badger Finest. So I'm going to whip this up, get it going. And I'll be right back to continue the video with you guys. All right, I'm back. So in a couple minutes here, had a nice lather going in the bowl. Good peaks. It's really easy to whip up and get going. A great orange smell too. I quite enjoy it. <clears throat> Get a little water on the face here. There's the warm water. All right. So I got two days of growth here. One day I'll do a video for you guys on, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, hair patterns, because that's a big part about good shaves. You see lots of that face mapping online and you're talking about it, but if you're a newbie, it's one of the most important things. So the like grandpa products, they are said artisan made in Edmonton, Alberta. Uh, this product is known to be lighter scented. That's by design. Uh, for basically a couple reasons I understand. Uh, one, Ken wants people to be able to layer this however they want, you know, put a nice cologne on, whatever you want. Also, a big chunk of his clientele are professionals who go into uh, <clears throat> work and they can't be heavily scented. They work either in low scent or scent free zones. So they can't have the strong projection you get off something like PAA or uh, Ariana Evans slash the club. So this is kind of geared to that clientele. With the lower sets. They're also simpler scents. They're not overly complex. As you notice, there is lime, orange, lavender. And he's got other stuff like eucalyptus, cedar, sandalwood. <clears throat> I think 
as Wild Rose is vastly popular as a yearly limited edition release on Canada Day. It's a fundraiser. That's good. A ton of lather. I definitely used way too much soap. <laughs> That's okay. Right up my nose there. So I have a little stuff of allergies today. So if I'm a little bit funny, I'm sorry if I'm sniffing a lot. I do apologize. The other thing you want can soaps here. I'll show you real quick. So when you read those ingredients, I don't know if my camera will focus. Maybe there. It's not overly complex. <clears throat> it's pretty much all natural. He tries to go for all natural ingredients and everything he can. Uh, and most of his stuff are scented with essential oils, except for his lime soap and his sandalwood. The lime soap is based on um, effects of essential oil in the sunlight. I can't remember what he said it was. Sorry, I'm not a chemist. <laughs> and the other is uh, his sandalwood. It's just based on the price of actual natural sandalwood right now. So we're going to go with the grain here. Good slickness, easily protecting me here. Like I said, the scent is on the light side, but it's actually a lot stronger for it's just a plain straight in your face orange than I was expecting. I'm going to put this light side of medium, high side of light for set wise. For you guys uh, who want the scent scales on that, I'd say like a three at the tops probably. Um, but again, that's by design. So it's light, but I can still smell it without a problem. And as you can see, first pass, no issues at all. You can definitely smell that. It smells really nice, actually. My daughter picked that up. She loved it very much. Coffee time, measure excellence, perform better. The logo of the company I work for, quite like it actually. This might even be a three and a half, four right now. I'm getting good whiffs of this, even through my allergies. Definitely seems stronger than the other soaps from him I've tried. Alright. 
So besides soaps, balms, pre-shaves, uh, he also sells skin salve hand lotions, which I have here also. Beard products, beard oils. He's got a I think a line of ladies' products have been called like grandma that have been launched in the last year. As you can tell, the residual slickness is really good too. He also sells razors. Uh, his razor is actually a collaboration with Carve. Uh, Ken knows Chris at Carve. They are friends, they live close together. <clears throat> so Chris, Ken actually makes his razor on at Ken's facility. It's a different handle. Ken came up with the design on his. It's longer than this one. I think it's about a three and a half looking at it. And it's about the same kind of head size and drama. I believe uh, Carve still makes that form completely, but it's got his labels and everything on it. And it's about equivalent to a Carve B plate. It's past two done. Feels really good. This is a great knot. Love this brush. Fortunately, they seem to be harder to find right now. The Paragon uh, two brand finest. <laughs> All right, let's keep past three here. Speaking of brushes, that's another thing that uh, like Grandpa does offer. Uh, his handles though are aluminum and then they're anodized and color wise. Uh, Ken's design. You get them with Badger, Synthetics, and I think maybe a Boar. I can't check. I have to check on that. Against the Green. This Bic blade actually really surprises me. It feels very sharp, but quite smooth. As mentioned, this is my second time using this blade. Uh, first time on this blade, but second blade I've actually tried from Bic. I've used it. In my carve and in my parat. Angela Parat. Amazing shapes from both. I got about four 
shades before. I was like, you know what, I'm just going to switch it out, get a new blade. Probably could have got a fifth shade quite easily, but didn't want to risk it. Plays are cheap, right? Myself just lately there it looks like micro weeper. All right, pass three done. Let's do a quick feel around here. Now it's pretty good. I'm gonna clean up there. <clears throat> Typical trouble spots. Don't want to overdo this though. <laughs> She's like a cloud. All right, hmm. that was really good. I'm happy with that. I'm gonna pull a Kevy shades here, you guys. I'm gonna do a face wash, as he calls it. Mm. Feels good. I'm gonna leave this on while I clean up my gear, and I'm gonna do a rinse, warm and cold, and I'll be back after to do the post. All right, I'm back. Shea feels very, very good. It's almost BBS, and I'm not chasing that. I think once these hairs dehydrate a bit, and send this will be BBS. It feels so good. Skin feels great. Um, I'd say no post is really required. Uh, but we're going to do it anyways, right? So as you said, we're going to throw in one product here that's not from like Grandpa. Another Canadian vendor. I'm going to use... Male grooming wildflowers. Play with the lavender we're gonna have from the light grandpa balm. We go very light on this. Feels really good. It smells really great. Awesome. So now for the balm. Good day for it. Blistery out there. You can see it's kind of a whip um, texture on this. There's the back. How to use instructions and ingredients. I don't know if you guys can see that. If it'll focus. 
Okay. Anyways, you want to use it says, work a small amount between hands and apply the neck and then face, and let absorb before removing any excess. Try that much. Feels good. It's a great lavender. My wife doesn't like lavender scents, and she likes this one. Uh, I was talking to Ken about it. I believe he said most people use French lavender, and this is... Oh, I could be wrong. Was it South Australian? I'll find out. Post that in here, too. Oh, it feels great, guys. This is Orban, and it's a little shiny right now. It smells awesome when I rub it in my hands, too. <laughs> May as well get some access in there and enjoy it, right? Speaking of hands, one of the products I picked up here is the try and working really well for me. This is Skin Salve. Salve. Just saying, he does have a wider range of products. Overall, I'm very happy with the shave. Feels very smooth. My skin is feeling amazing. On micro weeper there, but you can't even see it anymore. Awesome, very impressed. So, quick recap: lots of light grandpa products today. This orange shaving soap. It's a seasonal release. Started with his lime pre-shave oil. Ended it all off with his lavender balm. I also threw in because I want to match it up just for fun. Some male grooming wildflowers aftershave splash. Used my Paragon Shaving Two Band Finest. Thirsty Bag for Shave Bowl. And Carve Christopher Broad Eraser Three Inch Handle C Plate with a Bic Chromium Platinum for Shave. Thanks everyone for watching. I really appreciate it. Hope you have a great remaining of your weekend. This will probably come up tonight, so your weekend will be pretty much over. Uh, thank you for watching. Your subscriptions are appreciated. Have a great day, and I'll see you guys again soon. Happy shaving.